In today's modern data center, there are often many different monitoring tools being used. These can produce vast amounts of data, which can be overwhelming to sift through when you're just trying to get to the root cause of an issue or understand the environment more holistically. IT admins are having trouble filtering the signal from the noise. Hi, I'm Laura Giordana, and today I want to give a quick overview of some features in PRISM that can help you manage your IT operations more efficiently. Let's take a look. As of PC 2021.9, there are nine unique PRISM Pro features, and you can get started in your environment right away as these features are currently available as an included free trial. Note that some of these features make use of our unique machine learning algorithm called CrossFit to understand and analyze the data and require one to three weeks of data collection before they will start generating actionable signals. Let's go over these features and see how we can get started with them. Anomaly detection alerts you to anomalies in your environment and requires seven days of data to be collected on the cluster. Navigate to a specific virtual machine and click on the metrics tab and we can see any anomalies that have been flagged by clicking on the show alerts check mark. More importantly, we can configure alert policies so that we are automatically alerted when there is an anomaly. We can customize this alert depending on our needs and we can also use these alerts to set up an automation flow using playbooks which we'll talk about in a bit. You can view anomaly events across the entire environment by navigating to activity events and filtering by the behavioral anomaly event type. The next feature we'll talk about is capacity forecasting. Capacity forecasting allows you to view current resource runway information across all of your clusters and requires 21 days of data. Back on our PRISM dashboard, we can see we have a cluster runway widget. This widget is letting us know that we have about 93 days until the memory resources are maxed out on the PRISM Pro cluster. Let's drill into it and take a look. We can see here that we have plenty of CPU and storage, but if we drill into memory, it will show us that we will reach the capacity threshold in 93 days. And this ties in with the just-in-time planning feature, which tells us recommended hardware to meet our needs based on current usage so we don't over or under invest. To get a resource recommendation, click on Get Started and then click on Recommend. The recommendation engine uses our Sizer technology to recommend the resources that will allow us to extend our runway as needed. And we can also plan for future workload requirements by clicking on Add Adjust Workload on the left-hand side, entering in our planned requirements, and getting a new hardware recommendation. These scenarios can be saved and reports can be generated to share with others. VM efficiency detection and right sizing gives you the ability to quickly see, for both Nutanix and non-Nutanix environments, the efficiency of your VMs. This is built into the VMs page as an efficiency view and can be accessed in various ways. For example, from the capacity forecast page, you can click on optimize resources and drill into inefficient VMs, and it will give you a summary of the efficiency of the VMs in this environment. You can also get here from the efficiency widget on the main dashboard or by switching the view on the VMs page. You can create playbooks that will trigger based on these efficiency alerts to auto-remediate issues. Now let's talk about features that give you visibility into your environment, starting with the customizable dashboard. Now as the name suggests, it allows you to customize the dashboard to suit your needs. You can rearrange the widgets or add new widgets. So for example, I can click on Add Widget and make a top-end list of the CPU usage of all VMs on all clusters and add this to my dashboard. I could also create new dashboards, and dashboards can be customized per user. Reports are a great way to understand what's going on in the system, and you can have these reports emailed on a schedule, so you don't even have to log into PRISM to see what's going on. You can access reports from the reports widget or from the search bar or menu. There are some pre-canned reports available, and creating a new report is very easy. Just click on New Report, and we can construct views based on specific entities and attributes and add these to our report. So for example, if I wanted to run a report showing all VMs running in the system, I can choose the VM entity type and the properties we want to report on. We can also create a schedule so that this report runs at a certain time each day and is emailed to recipients. Scenario-focused troubleshooting allows you to correlate your infrastructure and application metrics together from the analysis page in PRISM Central. You can create charts and align these with alerts and events to get a better picture of what's going on. Admins can have different sessions, so you can name your sessions and save them for later. 
so multiple admins could be troubleshooting different issues at the same time without overwriting each other's work. You can start from the analysis page or you can add metric charts from other areas of PRISM to add to your session. With vCenter monitoring, you can add your vCenter environment to PRISM even if your ESXi systems are not running on Nutanix. Under the Operations menu, select Monitoring Configurations and click on Configure New Instance. We just need to enter in the vCenter connection information and then click on Test Connection. Once the connection is successful, choose which clusters you wanted to monitor and then click Save. We can see in our vCenter instance that we have a handful of VMs in this cluster. And these VMs are now visible on the VMs page within PRISM when filtering by non-Nutanix VMs. All the machine learning and behavioral detection that we've talked about are also applicable to these non-Nutanix VMs that are monitored. Finally, let's look at Crossplay, which is our powerful, easy to use, low code, no code automation tool that doesn't take days or weeks to learn. To get started, navigate to the Playbooks page and click on Create Playbook. You can set up playbooks to trigger on alerts, events, webhooks, manually, or at a specific time. A playbook consists of a trigger and one or more actions. So for example, I could set up a playbook to trigger when a specific alert is fired. Then I could add actions such as adding resources to a VM automatically. Or if you needed to route this through an approval system, you could specify an action to send the alert to ServiceNow or another ticketing system, and then your approval flow could call back into Crossplay via a webhook to perform the update once approved. There are over 30 actions you could chain together to create very powerful flows, including making REST API calls and running scripts so you can integrate this with almost anything. Playbooks are applicable to our non-Nutanix VMs as well. So for example, I can run a playbook to automatically increase the memory on my ESXi VM running outside of Nutanix, which is currently running with two gigabytes of memory. I'm gonna go ahead and run a manual playbook, which can be really useful for when you wanna trigger one or more actions on your VMs in a single click. And this is gonna increase the memory to three gigabytes, which we can see here reflected in vCenter. And in just a few moments, we'll see this reflected in Prism as well. I hope this gave you an idea of how you can use these features to make your IT operations more efficient. You can try these features out for yourself, including creating your own playbooks by taking an AI ops and automation test drive. Just go on over to Nutanix.com slash test drive and click on the AI ops and automation tab to get started. Thanks for watching. Check out the video linked here to learn more about Nutanix crossplay playbooks and be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to see more TechBytes content.